Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I just wanted to sit down with you guys and just have a girl chat, just talk as if we're best friends and I asked you guys some questions on my Instagram to just ask me things, anything you want, TMI, whatever and we're gonna go through them. I got a lot of really good questions this round so it's gonna be fun and in the process of this video I'm just gonna start unwinding for the day. It is towards the end of the day and I just wanted to feel like we're just hanging out. I'm gonna take my makeup off, do a face mask, get cozy and it's just gonna be a perfect little girl talk Q&A. So I just want to give a slight disclaimer before we get started. If you are family, do not watch this video. Please, please, I'm begging you, don't do it. Please, thank you. Also, you guys are literally sitting on my window, so if you hear cars passing by, that's why. So, the very first question is a very, very popular question that was asked a lot, and it says, how do you take care of grooming down there? So, in my last TMI Q&A, somebody asked this question, and I kind of gave like a walkthrough. Okay, not a walkthrough. I kind of gave like an explanation of what I do, and nothing has really changed, but I will say that video was done before I was married. Going into marriage, I was honestly so worried about that. Like, I didn't know what was the norm, and not even what was the norm, but like what he would want, what I would feel comfortable with and it's not as big of a deal as I made it which is so good so if you're engaged it's okay like it's really no big deal I was almost like embarrassed of it I guess you could say um so that's why I wanted to re-answer this question because I just do whatever I need to do I try to keep up with it like especially oh my gosh in the bikini line area we'll say that um but other than that I just keep it pretty well maintained if you know what I mean how do you deal with the when are you having kids talk been married three months oh my gosh how I respond to it is I just say like oh we're not ready for that yet just hopefully in a few years but if God brings us a kid tomorrow we'll be so happy because that's the truth like that's that and if it gets to the point where like someone's asking you over and over again then you probably should just tell them like hey I'd really appreciate it if you'd stop asking me what bothers me about that question is like people could be dealing with infertility like you just don't know um now clearly if you've been married for a month like that's a different story but you just never know it's a very annoying question especially when it's people that like aren't really close to you I'm gonna start taking off my makeup and start winding down Sam is actually at the store right now um, I've not been feeling the best today, so like my throat has just been really sore, so I am actually at a cough drop, so he's getting me cough drops and stuff, which is so sweet. So the next question is, how has your body image changed before and after being married? I don't really know how to answer this, because I would say it's gotten better, like, meaning... I'm not so much worried about what I look like and not that I was worried like so much about what Sam thought of my body but I think because there was so much unknown there so there was just like a lot of I guess you could say mystery I would just say I've gotten more comfortable and that's just like strictly within our marriage and then outside of marriage my body image has stayed the same because nothing really has changed there like the world still sees me the same way so I hope that answered that question. I got all my makeup off and now I'm going to apply my face mask because my skin has been just like acting up recently. If you guys have been following me for a while then you know I struggled with acne a few years ago. I can put some pictures here and it was really bad hormonal acne and now I've gotten that taken care of but it's really just like a couple here and there. I just got off my period so my skin is like recovering from that and then my pores are like really big overall my skin is doing really well there's just a couple of spots that i can feel are like coming up especially in this area and this area and even like i think this guy popped up today to help my skin out i'm going to use the teamy green tea detox mask and guys this is a lifesaver and i'm really excited to be working with them this is my second bottle of this mask i use this at least once a week it is so so great so i'm gonna apply a thin layer and then just let it really soak into my face and you guys are going to see the before and after difference and it is insane it just really makes my skin glow and once I wash it off it doesn't feel dry and crusty it just feels rejuvenated and really like new it's insane so I'm just gonna apply this to my face I'll let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes we'll keep talking and then we'll rinse it off and you guys are gonna see the insane difference after sorry if I start to sound weird it's like beginning to harden around my face but um, this question is such a good question. It says, did your first OBGYN appointment hurt? 
and before my first appointment I was so nervous I dreaded making the appointment I didn't really want to go I just knew it was something I had to do one because I was turning 21 and two because I was engaged so I knew I was going to get married I needed to do all the checks that they tell you to do before you become sexually active just all that good stuff I was so afraid because I have heard such terrible things people being like it hurts so bad but it really wasn't that bad I know everybody's different the worst part for me was just the clamp um, and that was it um, and it really wasn't as awkward as I thought I feel like I should just say that like it is not so bad like you can tell they're so comfortable they know what they're doing and it's just not that weird like even the breast exam isn't that weird so it really wasn't a bad experience overall that was just my experience and I was really nervous going into it so my advice would be don't be so nervous going into it and it's definitely something you should get done like it was something that I would have totally been willing to just put off um as long as I could but I knew that just wasn't smart um and if I would have known that it wouldn't have been so bad I would have just done it so it's really not that bad so this is an awesome question it says do you still send videos to your mom to check them before posting absolutely yes I do hi mom she checks all my spelling all of that stuff okay I think it just needs like another minute to sit there I really like to let it sit and just do its magic so I'll answer one more question then we'll go and rinse it off and I'll keep answering some questions how to make friends post college and girl I am struggling with that it's really hard especially for me because like I don't have a workplace which I don't think like a lot of people make really good friends in the workplace and I talked about this a little bit recently in one of my weeks in my live videos, but I just had to force myself to get involved in a small group. I didn't want to go to a small group where I didn't know anybody and I just felt really alone, but I had to push through that and I was really thankful I did just because now I feel like I know people and that's like the start of it. It's just getting involved. At least for me, it's getting involved at our church because that's where we meet people and have become friends and you know Sam has friends who you know are married or dating people and then I get to know them and then us girls will talk and we'll hang out and that's just kind of how like I've learned to cultivate friendships but it's still hard I totally feel the struggle with that um, especially because in college it's like everybody's just there and everybody's going through the same thing so it's really easy to like relate with people whereas once you get in, like the real world you're really busy and you're tired from working all day and there's just like a lot of different hard things to go through what I've learned is that most people struggle with this and it made me feel so much better you know I've only been here for like four months and with that time span I feel like I have made some pretty good friends and even the friends I had before I've grown a lot closer with and it just takes intentionality of like saying hey do you want to go get dinner or do you want to go to a coffee shop with me and just being intentional I would say this mask is ready to come off so let's go wash it off and you guys are gonna see the magic unfold before your eyes all right I just threw my hair up sorry for the very orange lighting but I'm going to rinse this off okay so I'm starting to rinse it off and I just really like to rub it into my face like this it takes a little bit longer to get off but I like to do it this way because I feel like it just really puts the product into my face okay and then I just use a towel to get kind of the excess off oh my goodness my skin feels so good I am back in the lighting that I started in and this is my face after the mask. I don't know if you could just tell how just rejuvenated it is and my pores completely gone. I've got some freckles but my pores look great. Guys, I am obsessed with this mask, so if you guys want to check it out, use the code JBROOK to get 20% off your green tea detox mask. I always struggle to say that for some reason. I just love this brand. I love the product. I love that it's made in Florida. It's cruelty-free, and it has so many great ingredients that I know I'm doing my skin a favor. I 10 out of 10 recommend checking it out. It is my favorite mask of all time. It's actually the only mask I use. I recommend this mask to my friends, my my mom literally anybody and everybody it is the best thing that has happened to my skin I love it and I know you will too so definitely check out the link in the description box and use the code jbrook to get 20% off so now that my skin is fully rejuvenated let's continue on with the questions so this next question I probably should have put up with the shaving down there but it says Brazilian wax with a ton of question marks I will say I did get that for my wedding night dash like honeymoon and it was great like not having to worry about like shaving and like with wearing a bathing suit like you know is anything showing it was really really nice but 
I don't know if it's something I would continually get. It doesn't hurt that bad. It hurt, but not so bad. Now, I did get a bikini wax prior, so maybe that's why it didn't hurt so bad. But, yeah, do I recommend it? Yes, if that's something you want to do. I would say totally do it. It's worth it for, like, the little bit of pain that the exponential amount of time that you have of not having to worry about it is so nice. Um, but I'm in no rush to get it again because I don't really have a reason. Maybe if I went to the beach, I'd get, like, a bikini wax. So somebody said, why don't you guys show more dash talk more about your church? So that's a really good question. And I specifically don't talk about where we go to church just for like privacy reasons. Um, I don't know. I just don't really see the benefit of that. Okay, Sam just brought me a honey citrus mint tea, which is so sweet. I think it's also called like the medicine balm or something. It's so good, especially when you don't feel the best. Okay, this question says, I'm struggling with spending time in the word and knowing Christ. Any advice? I think my biggest advice is when you're doing your Bible study, instead of asking like, what does this say about me or what does it say to me or what I should do? Just ask the question, what does this say about God? And I think your quiet time will really change. That's something that has dramatically changed for me. And I've recently had that mindset shift and it has been super helpful because our lives are meant to know God and to glorify him. And his word is a really good way to do that. But I feel you girl, it's not always easy. So this is the last question I'm gonna answer and it says, why didn't you take Sam's last name? So people think that Brooke is my last name, but it's my middle name. Um, and it is true that I haven't taken his last name yet, but I do plan to. We just have to do a few processes before we can do that. Um, but I do plan on doing it. I have like, if I ever go to something that it's not like legally my name, like if I go to church and sign up for something, I'll put Jacqueline or Huela, um, as my last name. So I have changed it. I think people just misunderstand what Brooke is. It's my middle name, not my last name. Okay, so I think that those are all the questions I'm going to answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this TMI Q&A, and I hope I could be like an older sister to some of you. And thank you guys so much for submitting your questions on Instagram. You guys are always so great. You can follow me over there if you want to stay up to date on my life. And thank you again to Teamy for sponsoring this video. Check out their detox mask down below. You can use the code JBROKE to get 20% off. Link is in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting unready with me and relaxing with me and just being able to talk friend to friend and i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye